following video contains excerpts from our Day 1, Part 2, UC on C-Series Rack and Cable Playbook. For a complete configuration guide, subscribers can download the playbook from our website. Visit www.ashbridgesbay.ca backslash BE whiteboard for a navigable interface to all of our whiteboard drawings. Welcome to our drawing, Cisco Collaboration on C-Series Server Deployment Rack and Cable. In this drawing, we'll describe the tasks required to rack and cable C-Series servers for Cisco Collaboration apps. Here are the Day 1 tasks for Cisco Collab on C-Series. On Day 1, we deploy the C-Series server itself. On Day 1, we also deploy the hypervisor, our ESXi host. Only a subset of the tasks are required for BE deployment. We'll run through everything for UC on C-Series. This drawing looks at racking and cabling the server. We've identified two tasks, rack the server and provide power, network cabling and upstream switch configuration. The installation and service guide is your friend. There's one for each C-Series model, but much of the material is the same. Download one now. Racking the C-Series is straightforward and well documented in the installation and service guide. We'll assume you can figure out how to rack the server and provide it power. The installation and service guide provides all the information you need. Network cabling is trickier. We'll discuss this in detail. We will use the LOM, or LAN on Motherboard card, for networking. The ports we are using on the LOM are numbered as shown. The leftmost port on the LOM will be dedicated to SIMC. The other two ports will show up as 0 and 1. Here's a picture showing the LOM ports on the front of a C220 M3 server. Enterprise 20 uses the BE6000 medium density server C220 M3S SFF Tested reference configuration number two. Other TRCs supplement the LOM card with a quad gig E card. We'll add drawings for that configuration as soon as we can. Enterprise 20 is the model Enterprise used in the ABay Lab environment to illustrate configuration and ongoing administration of BE6000, BE7000, and Cisco collaboration deployments in general. We'll discuss C-Series network cabling in the context of our Enterprise 20 deployment. In Enterprise 20, we distinguish between routed and not routed networks. All production networks are routed, as opposed to networks in the Jump Lab that are not routed. Jump Lab networks are discussed in Day 2, Jump to 9.1.2 or higher. Cisco recommends that you use more than one VLAN if you have a high availability, or HA, deployment. A VLAN is a single point of failure. If something goes wrong with the VLAN, a broadcast storm for example, or human error, everything in that VLAN will fail. We'll call our Production Collaboration VLANs Production Collab A and Production Collab B. Our production cluster is hosted in these VLANs. These VLANs are routed. We can access the apps on these VLANs from anywhere in the enterprise, depending on any restrictions we impose on traffic between VLANs in the enterprise. We've distributed our collaboration apps across the two VLANs. We'll discuss the Enterprise 20 clusters and how we distribute our UC apps across VLANs and servers in a later drawing. The Production Hardware VLAN is used for server management. This is the current production hardware VLAN and provides access to all of our servers. This VLAN is also routed. We can access the hardware on this VLAN from anywhere in the enterprise, depending again on any restrictions we impose on traffic between VLANs in the enterprise. Our new BE6000, BE7000, or other UCS hardware will be attached to the production hardware VLAN and used for our Cisco collaboration applications. The SIMC port is connected to the production hardware VLAN, so we have console access to our ESXi hosts. The SIMC port will be the leftmost port on the LOM, or LAN on motherboard card. 
The switch port to which the SIMC port is connected will be an access port with the access VLAN configured to be the production hardware VLAN. This port will be configured with port fast enabled. In Enterprise 20, the SIMC port is connected to GIG 0 18 on a Cisco 2960S switch. Here's the SIMC switch port configuration on the 2960. Enterprise 20 has a production hypervisor VLAN for management of our virtual applications using VMware hosts and vCenter. This is the current production VLAN for hypervisor management. This VLAN is also routed. We can access this VLAN from anywhere in the enterprise, depending again on any restrictions we impose on traffic between VLANs in the enterprise. vCenter and all of our ESXi hosts will be on the production hypervisor VLAN. If you have vCenter, then you can add these hosts. The remaining two ports on the LOM card will be connected to different upstream switches. This is the configuration for the BE6000 medium density server C220 M3S small form factor tested reference configuration number two. We'll add drawings for other C-series TRCs as soon as we can. The switch ports to which these LOM ports are connected will be trunk ports. The production hypervisor VLAN will be enabled on the trunk. The native VLAN will be configured as an unused VLAN and port fast for trunking will be enabled. We use only vSwitch 0 for the BE6000 medium density server. We'll discuss vSwitch configuration in a later drawing. These two ports will be configured as the VM NICs for vSwitch 0, the only vSwitch for this configuration. The VM kernel port group will be connected to this VLAN and enabled for vMotion if you have vCenter. Remember, if you want vMotion and HA, you need a single broadcast domain for the vMotion VM kernel port groups. Here's a better view of these ports. The networking diagram shown here is for the BE6000 medium density server but will work for any C-series having only the LAN on motherboard card. Our production collab VLANs will also be carried on the trunks to the server. These are the Enterprise 20 VLANs. Not all VLANs are used for base deployment. Here are the VLANs used for the base deployment. The production hypervisor and Collab A and Collab B VLANs need to be carried on the trunks for the vSwitch 0 uplinks. This is the Enterprise 20 configuration for the upstream switch ports with no QoS. The server is racked and cabled and the upstream switches are properly configured. Next you configure SIMC, then you can access the server console using KVM and shut down. Start up and reboot the server. Coming up next, Day 1, Cisco Collaboration on C-Series Server Deployment, SIMC Configuration and Use. Thanks for watching!